Welcome back to the channel. Today there have been significant changes on the Ukrainian front. The hottest spot was in the Kursk sector, where Ukrainians broke through the border in two more places. But let's go through everything step by step. After the Ukrainians broke through the border for the first time on August 7th, the Russians began to gather reserves from everywhere. After many unsuccessful attempts to bring their equipment closer to the contact line, they managed to form some counteroffensive groups and even seize the village of Snahost. So Ukrainians decided not to waste time and attack the enemy on the other side of the flank to stretch their forces and prevent further pressure. And now, after the enemy has barely gathered equipment for a counteroffensive in a month and launched an offensive, Ukrainians decide to break through the border in two new places. The video, which was shot from a Russian observation post, shows Ukrainian engineering equipment accompanied by a tank approaching the defense line and clearing the way. The so-called Surovikin line was created primarily to deter heavy equipment. After the work is done, the crew returns to the dugout. A few hours later, armored vehicles were used. After crossing the border, the Ukrainians continued to travel deep into Russian territory and thus reached the villages of Vesele and Obohovka. As mentioned in previous videos, during the first breakthrough, Ukrainian forces managed to trap a large group of Russian troops. From the west, south, and east, they are surrounded by Ukrainians, while to the north lies the Seam River, which serves as a natural barrier. The bridges over the river were destroyed in the first month of the Kursk operation, and pontoon crossings are typically destroyed within hours after being set up. According to unofficial data, there may be around 3,000 Russian soldiers here. Another place of breakthrough was the village of Teotkino. This town is located very favorably for Ukrainians, as it is in a semi-circumscribed area. Also, the area is very well controlled by Ukrainian drones and artillery, which does not allow the enemy to move freely and unnoticed in the village. This allows the Ukrainians to block the road to the town and cut off the supply of ammunition and food after which the Russians will have no choice but to surrender.